strange. These are black masks, man. Not the kind of guys I'd expect to find running around in the sewers. Could be worse. At least he sent an expert martial artist to protect us down here. <laughs> protect us from what? The rats? Here. The cops have always been on his payroll.
are directly beneath the GCPD, the telecom wires should be right under your nose. Alfred, confirm we now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacid Towers kit. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access. Alfred, I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. A casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later ready for trouble, and found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. That's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy, giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis's girlfriend. What kind of monster forces a man to kill the ones he loves? The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank. Alfred, see if you can find any information on someone named the Joker. Searching now, sir. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything coming up. What do you know about him? Not much. But he's taken Black Mask hostage. Hostage? Uh, so, Sionis isn't dead? I don't think so. From what I can tell, he's worth more to the Joker alive. The Joker wants to use him to break into the Gotham Merchant's bank. I'm on my way there now. You were very cordially, cordially, cordially. You were very cordially invited to a party. And it will be a grand affair. Grand affair, grand affair. And it will be a grand affair hosted by the Hatter. We do hope that you can come. You can come. You can come. We do hope that you can come to share in all the joy. Greetings and salutations, Batman. I am Jervis Tetch, inventor, entrepreneur, and part-time haberdasher. You must be wondering why it is I sought you out. Well, I have an employment opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Help me! Please! If you can hear this, he's going to... <laughs> oh, don't mind Alice, poor dear. Her mind is all a flutter, and who can blame her after all she's been through? But I'll have a writer's range soon enough. Don't you worry about that.
Greetings and salutations. Tell you whatever you want to know, please. You've hidden extortion data for Enigma. Tell me where it is. No, no, no problem. No, no problem, man. I'll, I'll take you to it myself if you want. Oh.
right now I don't want any accidents. Everything needs to be perfect. Of course, sir. You must refer to me as sir at all times. You understand? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand, sir. Yes. No, sir. Of course. Oh, this is mad. It really is an honor to make your... Where's the girl? Whatever do you mean? Alice. Excellent. Then you know why you're here. What are you talking about? Oh, perhaps we don't see eye to eye after all. Let me remedy that. Tick tock. Watch the clock. What did you do? Oh, it's where I first met Alice. You know? Oh, what grand adventures we had. But then they took her from me. Poor sweet Alice. Lost her alone. I... To bring her home, and so I did. And it was quite the judge, let me tell you. But she's here again, safe with me. Still, the forces of the Queen are everywhere, conspiring to reclaim her, which is why I brought you here. Who better to protect Alice than the Batman himself? Well, well, you figured it out. But it taxed you, didn't it? Drained a bit of that willpower of yours, hmm? <laughs> Thoughts getting heavier? Finding it harder to maintain control? And it brings out the best <laughs> and the worst. <laughs> Don't worry, Alice is in very good hands. Martini, yes. Get away from me! Oh my, it seems someone's forgotten her manners. <laughs> You know what it is. Well, I, I can't remember. <laughs> but you trust me on this. You must be wondering why I brought you down here. Well, see, I developed the most wonderful device, one that compels obedience. Now, with weaker minds, it works quite easily. Stick my creation on their heads, and just like that, they're under my control. Individuals, however, require a bit of 
Breaking in. And this, my friend, brings us to the here and now. You are my Humpty Dumpty, Batman. Your mind is shattered. And when I put the pieces back together, you'll be mine. Forever. <laughs> Did you know time moves in seven different directions here, but you've stuck to just one? Forward, always forward? Oh, how boring. So why don't we try moving back? Just has to leave. He can, he will, he just has to leave. He can, he will, he just has to leave. Really now, you're becoming my pet peeve. It's not. <laughs> 